Welcome guys, this is Taco Freak here, and today we're going to do episode 2, and we're going to learn how to create our first ramp. So last time I got cut off, um, I didn't want to, but I, I guess there was no way around it because I reached the limit. Um, so yeah, we just finished naming naming this um, here, it was the template, and I named it The Wake, to give it like a realistic name so you guys can see uh, you know i'm going to try and make this uh, an actual story maybe a very short story but just want to show you guys the basic engines of the of the game you know so you can start doing yours all right so here we have a few things um we have something called the image file the actual english uh custom story settings music and maps i put this music folder here it you should actually right now create a new one and name it sound I forgot to include this in the template. I'm gonna try and update it if I can. Um, and yeah, so music would go here, and sounds like, uh, like say a jump scare sound would go here. Something that would last no more than a few seconds. Music, obviously, something that you would hear like ambience music. And also this, this is a sample. This is a sample um, sound that I put in there. Um, but that should go in sound. Sorry about that, but I'll try and fix it. Um, okay, so um, now if you look in here and you look in like any other custom stories folder, um, for example here, you can see that there's similar files like maps, music. They don't have sounds in here, but you it does it won't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. And we also have a, an image file that's not the same here. But yeah, usually custom stories go along this. As you can see here, they have more like billboards and textures. So you'll you'll notice this if you look through other through other people's um stuff you will see how it goes you see you see how it's similar all right so um i'm gonna work on it on my desktop and this is for specific reasons because when i first started my um custom story creation um when i first began like oh like half a year ago um i couldn't i i, I would have it in my custom story folder but when i would edit it and the edits wouldn't wouldn't happen the scripting would just bug out nothing would work fine i would never know why then when i started working on my desktop and then copying it and pasting it into my custom stories folder it began working and i'm like oh this is perfect um so i say work on it on your desktop to avoid any issues and after you get like some decent experience with experience with it then i would T I would recommend that you actually start moving forward and maybe if you want to start working on it in your custom stories folder because you'll notice that it is very frustrating having it on the desktop and having to copy and paste it in, in um, into your C drive because in C drive there's permissions and that's what makes it bugs out because you'll need to run things as administrator if you want go for it but I would highly recommend you do it on your desktop to avoid um, tons and tons of comments on thing, how things are not working so if you're starting off for the first time please please do it on your desktop then when you get comfortable you can if you want to try you can move to your custom stories folder alright so now let's get started on setting this up in maps this will be what the maps that you will make in level editor which we will make in this episode um, as you can see there's map name this is a HPS file so in the properties you can see that it was saved as in .hps um, so I'm going to show you real quick how to make this although you already have my you already have the one that I have that already has some commands I'm going to show you real quick um, okay so I'm going to drag over this one and close this up and okay this is my template this is what I left for you guys to use this is a basic template as you can see the little um, stars they're there to signify that that's not a normal command and that you can edit that whole thing that inc that includes the stars as you can see the key name door name function name I'll explain all of this in a in a little in a little while and I'll also put the whole command in for you guys in a in a separate um um file and that separate file I think I will create here and I will show you guys how to save it as a .hps alright so um, a .hps file should normally come up without like opening with notepad++ but um, 
but you can always right click and hit open with and set it to open with notepad I did the same thing with these files in front that was a lang file and a and CFG I just I just set it to open with um to notepad so you can see what's inside here so you know you'll have to open it with some type of editing uh, of editing um software that can be notepad it can be notepad plus plus maybe even windows uh, microsoft word but i would say stick with notepad plus plus for it is the simplest and best way to do it in my opinion all right so so to save an hps file you go over here and you would um type whatever it is so i'm going to type in hello and then i'm going to hit file save as and you're going to save it to the location so as you can see it says map name and that's this folder right here and I'm going to save it as since I'm gonna give this to you guys with all the scripts um, basic sorry basic scripts alright but don't save it just yet you're gonna have to change the normal text file because this is a txt which will open with notepad and you want to change it to all types so it won't save it as a certain type because you might not have HPS in here but don't even bother just send it to all types and you're gonna type in what fo format you want it to be and you're gonna type in dot HPS and then you're going to hit save alright so as you can see we created an HPS file that's named basic scripts alright great so now we're actually going to do one last thing with the with this kind of kind of thing and it's going to be back here in the main in the root of it of the the wake and we're going to open up this thing called a cfg file this cfg file has all the information on the on the uh, map so you know right before they start the custom story you'll see you'll see stuff on there saying like the description and everything like that with the name so image file dot png well here I have a file it's just a picture that I got from the default windows and and you can put whatever as it is but it has to be in PNG for PNG format for that you can use any photo editing software or you can even upload it to a website online and get it converted I use Photoshop but you guys can use whatever you guys want and so you name the file so as uh, this one's called image file dot png the capitals matter so make sure that the capitals are the same and it has to be a png to show up when you start the custom story uh, name map name alright so I'm gonna change this and since our map name will be the wake it will be named the wake here the author so it will show up who created it so as the author I'm going to put put my name which would be tech o freak and maps folder so it's going it wants it's pointing out where are your maps where is it going to load the maps from so in here you can see that there's maps and here's all the maps so as a default directory it will be maps slash and as you can see right here this is where the custom story settings is and then the slash maps right here uh, if you have if you make you can also make folders if you want to split your story into multiple sections you can create new folders like um, set area one or chapter one chapter two chapter three and then all the sets of maps that will go in there you get an understanding of that later on if you don't understand anything don't worry just keep watching eventually you'll it will come across it and we'll discuss what all of these do like if you're unsure what an HPS does what a lang does what a CFG I will explain it and I will show you guys but you guys have to bear with me this is the, the start of it all all right so now um, the, the first map that will be loaded in the game this is the first map that will be loaded in the game so you want the first map to be loaded so if it's in um let's say it's in like uh, maps and then the name first name of the map will be um, house one or house two or whatever it is it will be named house one dot map this is very crucial without this dot map it will not work when we create the map file in the level editor you will see that we have um that we will we will have a map name and, and very shortly you'll see but you have to bear with me I'm sorry 
and I don't think actually I was hoping to do um, the level editing stuff but I don't think I'll be able to do it in this video um, we have about five minutes left and and I will just try and get the the rest of this out of here and then the next episode so I know you guys probably want to see the mapping and then the scripting so I'll try to make upload uh, those tutorial videos today all four so you guys so if you start watching it you guys can you know continue and you don't have to stop and wait for next week so I'll try and do it up to at least four okay uh, enough of me wasting time alright so now we discussed the map name and now sp start position so this is where the player is gonna spawn for the first time in the level because in a level in the level letter you can create with a start position or any positions in general is like a player spawn area and you guys and you can you might have multiple of them in your level so you can't just make the player spawn in any of them you have to make them spawn in the one that you want like if you want them to spawn in a bed in a room or anything like that this right here will determine where he will spawn for the first time so it's very important to change this to whatever you named the area you guys will see this very soon when we actually start it and this could be whatever you name the actual area but for now we leave as is so we'll go ahead and save this and there goes our CFG alright extra English so now this I'm going to open up right here and this will have our basic our basic um how will I say it's um when you want a message on a note or a message to come up on the screen or any journal entries like that for example and maybe the name of the key and what the key does it will be in here because in the HPS it's all the scripts and it determines what it does and here it finds the name of everything for example here is the map description I labeled it here it's custom story main description map description and as you can see like I said the things with the star mean that if this is not by, by default there this actually you can edit this whole thing here so if we wanted to name our put our map description we would put it here and let's just start it here let's just start um this description I will put I guess a basic um like horror scene based on the name so like you wake in your room has taken place all right so I might have, remember that this does not error this is not error correct so if you think you have bad spelling which I do as you can see I already found the mistake here no long knowing um, you you might want to like type it up in um, word and in word it will correct it for you and then you could just copy and paste it in here because I know a lot of people rage because of the bad spelling well I don't know what it is but you know I, I guess this this is what caused a lot of bad spelling there's no error correction here so you may want to um, you may want to you know uh, do it in word before or if you don't really care and you think you have good spelling so be it doesn't really matter it won't affect anything alright so now that we have that we'll go ahead and save that I believe I saved it already Um, here I'll save uh, oh wait I saved it again and this it's already saved alright so that's about it for today guys sorry that we didn't get to the level editing I was totally expecting to get there didn't think this would take so long um, right before I have another another maybe 30 minutes 30 seconds um, here will be all your sounds and here will be all your music so you know when you when you want to use music, when you want to use sounds, put them in here. If you have any that you're already waiting to use, go ahead and dump them in here. It won't affect anything. Um, I'll show you how you can um, create these files here later on when we actually do implement them in our custom story that we will be doing as a continuous project with you guys. All right. So thanks for watching. Like, um, like, favorite, and um, please subscribe so you can see what else comes um, our way. Alright, thanks for watching.